The bent over one arm reverse fly is thought of as a nice upper back and posterior shoulder exercise, and it really is, don't get me wrong. But what I'd like to illustrate today is that if you do it in particular ways, it can also be a really good core exercise that teaches you how to dissociate your lower body from your upper body. To get ready for the bent over one arm reverse fly, the main thing you need is just some sort of weight. You can use a plate, you can use a kettlebell, it'd be kind of weird, but you could use a dumbbell, you could use a milk carton or milk jug or whatever you need, whatever's an external load that you can resist, okay? If it's too light and you don't have anything available, just do more reps. It's a good solution, right? So there are a couple patterns that I wanna walk you through here. I wanna show you the different setups that I might give someone. First one's a parallel stance. So my feet are lined up symmetrically, just like this. And then I do a little RDL. I will link to that video. It's a Romanian deadlift. It's a, it's a particular way that we bend over, right? So we do this. We try to feel a little bit of hamstring back here holding me up. I secure my feet in the ground. I just, I'm just thinking like, I wanna reach through my feet the whole time, okay? Those are like your tree trunks rooting you into, or your tree roots rooting you into the rest of the world. Now I'm gonna take the weight, put it in one of my hands, keep even pressure on my feet while I row back, okay? Once I can demonstrate that I can do that pretty well, I could speed it up a little bit, or I could potentially use more weight. So that's our first variation, the parallel stance. Second variation, we start to move so that we're on one leg or the other. Now, instead of lining my feet up parallel, I'm gonna put one foot in front of the other, keep them both flat. We call this a staggered stance, okay? I'm gonna to try to load this front leg a lot more, make sure this one's still down, my left one's still down, but I'm loading my right one more. Now that I've got whole pressure on my whole foot, then I can just do my reverse fly. So here, now that I'm overloading one leg, I'm gonna feel my hip muscle more. I'm gonna feel my hamstring quad supporting me up that way. Uh, this is a great way to turn this into a, a more of a functional exercise, right? So I'm starting to integrate my lower body with my upper body a lot more. Okay, I'm gonna be able to use more weight this way, but I'm gonna really feel this way too, or this way too. I, I spoiler alert, this is our next variation, the split stance. Okay, so instead of having both feet flat, now I'm really loading this front one, and this leg, this back leg, is almost completely unweighted. Same principle though, I'm gonna push my whole foot into the ground, make sure I got that pressure, make sure I can feel this butt muscle turn on, and then I'm gonna row away from it, just like this. If you're finding you're having trouble feeling your upper back working, try to reach while you do it. So this free arm you can use to stabilize the rest of your body, stabilize your core and your rib cage. And that allows you to turn on these muscles in your upper back. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Again, our three positions are the parallel stance, the staggered stance, and then the split stance.